What it is now, peeps. Josh here, and I got that DP, and I got these white balls with the Pride Productions here in a 21st material tutorial. That's right. Tutorial number 21 in UE4 with materials, and we're going to talk about tessellation. I got a couple tessellation tricks for you. Actually, I'm just joking. It's just one trick, but you can use it a few different ways, so that kind of makes it a couple. But the point is, we've really barely touched tessellation, so check it out. I'm in the DP folder. I'm going to right-click, create a material, and name it T, because T stands for tessellation. At least it does today, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drag this T on all my balls. You know what I'm talking about? A little couple, couple T balls. Now the thing is, what we're, what's what's going on here is obviously this mesh is now when I change the material, it's going to change all the meshes. And I'm sure you know that. But now I got all kind of all kind of balls that are going to be changed by my material. So let's double click and drag it over to this window. Oh look, UE4 knows how we do. You know what I'm talking about? Let's get started. Now the thing about tessellation. And we've covered this just a little bit before, but we're really going to kind of dive into it a little bit today. Is while this is selected, we need to turn it on. So if you scroll way down here, no tessellation. What's that all about? No. We need flat tessellation. So I'm talking about it. it opens up these two world development or world displacement and tessellation multiplier. So we're going to toy with these bad babies right here, but we need a collar. So I'm going to hold the number three. I'm going to plug it into base collar. I'm going to double click and I'm going to change it to the collar red because I love red because red's nice. You know what I'm talking about? I have a little red. We have a little red ball. Right here, okay? Now we need to start working with our tessellation. We could obviously save it now and go back and look at our red balls, but that's not that exciting. We've, we've, we've done better than that. Now check it out. One thing about tessellation, I'm gonna type in vertex and you'll see vertex normal right here. You have to have this. You literally have to have this if you're working with tessellation. You wanna multiply what you're finished with. Once, once you've done it, you wanna multiply by this because it's gonna tell it where to point everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and have a multiply set up. I'm gonna hold lever M and plug it into the bottom here. And whatever we do here, we're gonna plug it into the top of this and boom, that'll go into world displacement. So check it out. Since we don't have a height map, and that's what you need kind of to create custom style tessellation, I'm gonna use noise. You know, I'm gonna type in, I'm gonna type in noise here, and we're gonna have our own tessellation. And I'm gonna multiply, I'm gonna just plug it in here like this, okay? Now actually, no, you know what? We're not gonna do that just yet. Drag it back, just like this. And we're going to do a couple things here. First of all, if you drop the window and you got your live update, you can see that it's too much. But the reason we're going to use the noise is this. Check it out. Let's, let's change it to 0 .005 so we can kind of zoom in a little bit, okay? Now, when you move the map, do you see how it's moving? We're going to use that to our advantage. Noise uses the, the absolute world position of the mesh. So if the mesh moves, so does the noise, which is incredible. So I'm going to multiply this. I'm going to hold the letter M. Okay, hold the letter, hold, I'll, I'll, I'll hold the letter M and just the number one because we want to pick a number, okay? And for now, I'll just multiply it by the number 50 because we're going to, we want to take that noise and make it really crank out with tessellation because tessellation, what it's doing is, it's kind of like a normal map, but it's real. It's actually like taking whatever is going on here and it's going to go in and out of the mesh. So if I plug this into world displacement now, you're going to wait a second for it to load up and we're going to see it. Actually, I'll go ahead and save it. You know what I'm saying? Because once it saves, we're going to see this ball has been a little deformed because the tessellation is going to be coming in and out of that ball. You know what I'm talking about? Based off this noise, okay? Which means when we go out into the world now and move our ball around, we're going to see some crazy, crazy stuff. So, oh God, our ball, now it looks like this. What in the world is going to be all pointy? We got all kind of stuff we need to fix and I'm going to show it all to you. But if we go back, now my balls are kind of pointy. You know what I'm talking about? I can take the ball. I got the ball, I can move it. Now check it out. Oh, what's going on there, son? You know what I'm talking about? We got a little, little start. You can stretch up, press space bar, and go to the scaling. I can scale it out like that. I can flatten that bad baby like this. You know what I'm talking about? I can control Z both of those. I can just flatten it, have a little pancake, a little, little pointy pancake ball. You know what I'm talking about? We got a, some cool stuff going on there, whatever. But the point is, let's go back into it. We can make a couple more changes, make it look a little cooler. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this noise to 0 .001. Because it's, it's, it's too much, you know what I'm saying? I want it to weaken a little bit. Now, another thing I want you to check out is this tessellation multiplier. It's going to kind of round off the edges. Now, a lot of people use two and four and, and whatever not. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it in. I'm going to put it up to eight. Okay, I'm going to change it all the way up to eight. So it's really going to round out those edges and not make it so incredibly pointy. That's a five, but that's an eight. And let's save it again and kind of see the changes we made to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, we're going to we're gonna toy with a little bit more here. I got a couple more things I want to show you. But let's kind of get an idea of what that's done. We've zoomed in a little further with the noise by changing to 0 .001, and we've added some smoothing. Now check out my ball. My ball's a little, ball's a little different now. Let's go ahead and look at it. Okay, okay, kind of, kind of neat looking there. Kind of like a cloud, you know, like a, like a little bit of a cloud there. Okay, I like what we're doing there. We got a little, we've made a little, we've made a cloud. Now if it was white and we had a bunch of them, we'd have all kind of ball clouds. You know what I'm saying? I can just, I can stretch this bad baby in any direction I want, and it's gonna, it's gonna, the, the, the noise changes based off the position of the mess, which is neat. So I mean, if I rotate this bad baby, I mean, it's, you can still see the noise kind of shifting as we move it. So yeah, it's freaking sweet, guys. I mean, just pretty sweet. We'll go over to this ball over here, and we'll start toying with this one in a minute. Now the thing is, I got all kind of balls, but besides that, we're just toying with a little bit, you know, learning, learning, learning things. Now, here's the thing. 
I'm gonna crank this up a little bit more, okay? I wanna set this to about, I'm gonna say, uh, 150. Okay, I'm gonna set it to 150, and this is something else you can do. Now, sometimes if you crank this up, the problem you're gonna have is this is gonna be kind of pointy. Okay, now what we can do to kind of fix that, and oh god, you can see it kind of geeking out on us right now, is, is, is it gets kind of, if, it, if you ever see it kind of pointy, do this. Check it out, right click here and type in the word clamp. Okay, and what you can do is you can clamp the value to make sure it doesn't go too high or too low. And what I'll usually do is I'll just set it. You could you could hold the number one twice and plug them in, or you can just set the values. I would set it to negative 150 and positive 150. And there we go. We kind of got a we kind of got a different look there. Now, if we notice again, it's going to really multiply it out now. So let's save it and look at it again. Now the thing is, where we multiply it by 150 because of 50, it's going to be more stretched out. Like it's it's pushing more outward, it's pu pulling more inward. You know, we're, we're taking this noise and this whatever number we multiply by, it's just it's 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 multiplying that noise function. So now, my God, it's 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 broken in here. And I've noticed the tessellation is always so much stronger in here than it is out here. So if you notice out here, oh, what is going on there? Okay, we got a little. We got, we got another we got a little ball of, of cloudy goodness you know what I'm saying it's kind of just a, a, a neat little a neat little thing and as we stretch it up it's 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 just like and you, what's cool is you could apply this to any mesh you could apply it to a box or a, a cylinder or whatever or not you could just have this and you can rotate it and have all kind of stuff it, it, I'm telling you it looks a lot like clouds I'm not gonna lie we'll do one more thing one more thing with the old tessellation it's just super cool that because of the noise map as you move it it kind of it kind of I mean think about it if you had a cloud even though it wouldn't be shaped like that it's kind of moving look at that Make it all white. Have the light shine through it. Do some other cool stuff. Obviously, you'd you'd toy with the opacity or the opace the opacity if you were gonna actually uh, make that kind of a uh, a cloud with a little more translucency. But check this out. This is something I like to do. I go into the noise here. Now set the levels to sec to six. Right. I'm gonna set it all the way down to two. Okay. And that's all I'm gonna do. It's just something I'm gonna do. And what happens is, actually, we'll set it all the way down to one. Let's see what one does. Now, again, the noise here, the, the, the levels of it is actually like how many times it's dividing and multiplying and all this nonsensical map stuff. So this is gonna make it look really smooth right here. You know what I'm saying? But once we look at it in the world, you're gonna see a couple things that have changed. It's not gonna be so rough and rigid. It's probably not gonna look like a cloud anymore, but it's gonna have a, a smooth transition. And again, if you're looking at your noise, if you, as long as you got live updates on, you're looking at your noise and it's not all multiplied by thousand things and it's not it's it's not stretched out and I dropped it back to point one you could see what's going on but anyway now that it's saved look at what this bad baby's going on now bruh look, look at the, this is a ball look what this ball is now son it's like a little little thing we can let's just crank the size of this ball up no you know what I'm gonna go to this one right here because he's I like this one I don't know why I'll grab the white and just, just just it's getting that bigger ball big old ball son okay you can see what it's doing now it's got all kind of this Real pretty stuff going on. It's real, like I said, it's it, real fine lines and real fine noise now. It's not so detailed and ridiculous nonsense going on. So if you're looking for like a cloud look, I'd crank up them levels. You know what I'm talking about? But if you want just a sweet look like this, and like I said, you could, once again, play with the levels, play with the size, play with the, the different stretching and stuff like that. But there you go. Showing you how tessellation, not only can it be used as like a black and white alpha map, and you can plug it into your tessellation or your world displacement right here, the same way if you had a height map on a certain material or, or a certain object to make it kind of you know come out at certain spots like a rocky road and you wanted like the rocks to kind of come out of the road that's that's what you use tessellation for like a map but if you just want to toy with it and have some fun you know what i'm talking about and, and make a big make a big old red curly looking ball okay and like and toy with it and, and, and make some fun but like i said guys this is really useful for like clouds smoke and then just some really oddball effects. Again, I just think it's super cool that we can stretch in and out and have the mesh do this kind of stuff. You know what I'm talking about? And it's just really, 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 really neat what all you can do. But again, guys, thanks for watching. It's Josh here with the 21st material tutorial on the Unreal Engine 4. We got 21 of them. We've got so many, it doesn't make sense. And now we got clouds, and you can move them back and forth. And as you move them, they do cool stuff. You know what I'm talking about? We can switch it and turn it. But thank you guys for watching. I love you, Missy. Go subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, go hit the Facebook page. Go check out Deprived for some music capital d at the beginning capital d at the end deprived on soundcloud and bandcamp check out our ep our first one we got a second one on the way out all kind of music tutorials videos video game and all that nonsense guys thank you guys for watching i love you i hope you learned a little something about tessellation uh just a little something something short tutorial uh, we're about to dig into some more complicated stuff i know i've been saying that for like three weeks but get ready you know what i'm talking about okay get a little ready if you're ready get more ready i'm ready i'm not i'm just playing but i'm getting there i'll see you guys soon peace